Hello everyone! The topic for this week's lab is beam deflections. More specifically, we will be focusing on three different objectives. To measure the deflections of a member due to bending, to review the calculation of beam deflections, and to verify experimentally the validity of beam deflection theory. In order to complete this lab, the following materials are required. A 1500mm aluminum straight edge with a modulus of elasticity of 71,000 MPa. One wooden meter stick. A steel mass of approximately 1 kg. One wood support with flat top and one wood support with a notched top. Two dowels, roller and pin. One spirit level. One steel ruler and a digital caliper for parts 1 and 3. Before the test procedure starts, measure the width and thickness of the aluminum straight edge at three different points along its length using the digital caliper. Record these measurements in the table shown here and use the average for your calculations. This lab consists of three different parts. First, we will look at part one, deflection of simply supported beams with symmetrical loading, in which the deflection of simply supported beams of varying lengths will be investigated when a point load is applied mid-span. All measurements will be recorded in table 10.1 as shown here. For the actual procedure, First, set up the apparatus with the aluminum straight edge, but excluding the mass, to the required central span length as shown by L-span in figure 10.1. Keep an equal overhang on each end. See the first column of table 10.1 for the required central span length. Scribed lines on one side of the aluminum straight edge indicate the required position of the supports. Using a steel ruler, determine the distance from the surface to the table to be used as your reference plane in this exercise to the straight edge at mid-span. Note that a line has been scribed at mid-span for your convenience. You will record these values in Table 10.1. Now place the mass at mid-span with the short dimension of the mass parallel to the span length. Once again, measure the distance from the surface of the table to the straight edge at mid-span. Record this distance in Table 10.1. Repeat steps 1 to 4 for 4 span lengths approximately evenly spaced in a range between 900 and 1200 mm as shown in Table 10.1. You will then have to complete steps 6 and 7 in the lab manual on your own 
following the instructions given there. For a second part of this test, deflection of a simply supported beam under non-symmetrical loading, you will have to find the approximate location of maximum deflection and its magnitude. This time, measurements will be recorded in Table 10.2. First, set up the apparatus with the aluminum straight edge, again excluding the mass, to a central span length of 1000 mm. Keeping the overhang on each end about the same length, place the mass on the straight edge 200 mm from the pin supports, as shown in Figure 10.2. Measure the distance from the top of the table to the beam at mid-span and under the mass. Also measure this distance once the mass is removed. You will record these values in Table 10.2. Using the spirit level, determine the location where the slope of the beam is approximately zero. In other words, point of maximum deflection. And determine the distance from this location to the roller. Record this measurement and measure the distance to the table surface at this location. Also measure this after the mass is removed. Finally, measure and record the height of the beam above the table at locations 10 mm on each side of the location determined in the last step. See figure 10.2 to determine whether the location found previously is the point of maximum deflection. Again, step 5 in the lab manual will have to be completed on your own following the instructions given there. This third and final section of the lab, Experimental Determination of the Modulus of Elasticity, will see you determine the modulus of elasticity of a wooden meter stick from measuring deflection. Measurements for this part are to be recorded in tables 10.3 and 10.4. For this third and final part, first determine the average cross-sectional dimensions, width and height, of the meter stick using the digital calipers at four locations along the length. Using the average dimensions, you will calculate the moment of inertia I of the cross section above the axis of bending. Record these measurements and determine their averages in Table 10.3. Next, set up the apparatus to a central span of 900 mm. Again, keep an equal overhang at each end. See Figure 10.3. Measure the height above the table at mid-span under self-weight. Record this value in Table 10.4. Place the steel mass at mid-span and measure the additional deflection due to the newly placed live load. Select span length of 800 mm and repeat steps 3 and 4. Once again, you will need to complete the rest of the lab on your own using the information given to you already, and the rest of the instructions in the lab manual. That concludes Lab 10, Beam Deflection. You will now proceed to complete the problems and exercises in your lab manual using the given data. Good luck with the rest of the lab.